Hello, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Um, hi. Uh, yeah. Okay, glad to hear that. Okay, we are about to start the class. We are going to wait for the rest. Ya vamos a comenzar. And today we are going to finish with the passive voice. Okay, so remember that tomorrow we have classes and we are going to have it at the same time, right? So you don't have to worry about that if you have any problem. If you have any problem or if you have any issues, you just let me know and I'm going to take into account that information, okay? So remember that tomorrow classes, mañana hay clases para reponer lo de la tormenta, ¿verdad? So we are going to... Let me see here. Just let me ask you if you have any questions about uh, the platform. Have you worked in the platform recently? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. I'm in section two. Section two already. Okay, perfect. You can work in future sections if you want, if you have time. So you will be able to take advantage of your time. And uh, if you don't have questions, because I, I was checking today the WhatsApp group and you were like writing some, you were helping each other, right? You were helping among you. So that's good. So you don't have any any, any problem with the platform? Any question? Yeah, I, I have a problem with the platform. I couldn't mm -hmm. join. So you're, you, haven't, you haven't done anything about the platform. You don't have the... No, I, I couldn't join it already. Do you have, do you receive any error message, Eric? No. And what happens when you try to join? Uh, uh, when I try to, to join the platform, uh, the platform said um, error. Just that? Just like an yeah, error. That. And I can join it for to complete the platform. Okay, have you uh, contact someone for administration to talk yeah, about that? Well, I tried to to enjoy up around five minutes ago, mm -hmm. and when when we fin when we gonna finish the class the classes, I gonna to to uh, send a message with a person that that she sent me the message. Okay. Yes, because I will. Uh, if something happens, I will let them know tomorrow. Um, because if you have problems, if you don't finish the section one, probably you will have problems with your diploma or probably something else, right? So we don't know. So we are. I, I'm going to ask them to know what's happening. I think that uh, maybe, maybe the problem is the link. Maybe, I don't know. Mm, yeah, probably because if it's showing an error, right? It should yeah. be saying something. But if you have any problem, let, let me know. Somebody else is having problems with the platform. Alguien más tiene problemas con la plataforma? Or everybody was, okay, was fine working in it. Okay, if you have any problem, let me know, okay? Now we are going to finish with uh, the passive voice. Vamos a terminar con la voz pasiva. Uh, if you don't understand something or if you have any question during the class, let me know, right? Teacher, please explain this again. Teacher, please uh, repeat. I didn't understand this part, right? And I will explain it again. Uh, that's the purpose of the class for you to clarify doubts, right? So as an introduction, we are going to read about uh, this um, sentence just to practice a little bit. And then after this, we are going to pr practice a little bit more. And we will try to finish the past voice. So this is a conversation about uh, traveling, right? So it says, uh, we are going to read it first and then we are going to practice it. Practice it. it says, uh, Lisa, Eric, you're from Amsterdam, aren't you? And Eric says, yeah, why? I'm going there for a conference and I like some information. Sure. What do you want to know? Do you use the Euro in the Netherlands? Yes, the Euro 
is used in most of Europe, you know? And I do need to take euros with me? Not really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere and they're much safer, of course. And what should I buy there? Cheese, definitely. We raise dairy cows and some really excellent cheese is made from their milk. Good, I love cheese. Where is it sold? You can find it at cheese shops all around the city. And don't forget to bring me a piece. Do you have any questions about the, the conversation? What is sold? So uh, that is the past of which verb? Sell, right? Sell, vender, okay? Where is it sold? Donde es vendido? That is passive voice, right? Passive. Oh, okay. Teacher, what is raise? Where is it? We're, we raise dairy. Oh, we raise, we raise dairy cows. Very good question. We raise, raise es como criar, verdad? Criar. En dairy cows, vacas, lecheras, verdad? Dairy es son como productos lácteos. Así que dairy cows son vacas, lecheras. Very good question. Okay, another question that you have, any pronunciation question or any other doubt? What is safer? Safer, uh, it says they're much safer. That is a comparative. Safe es como seguro, ¿verdad? Y safer es más seguro. It's a comparative. They are much safer. Okay. Thanks. Another question? That's it? Okay, so we are going to uh, practice it right now just to practice the pronunciation, right? We have Jose Arturo, Jaime, Maria, Sigüenza, Rosa Esmeralda, Eric Cardoza, Sandra, Cecilia, Noe Vasquez, Jaime Reyes, Carla Merino, Walter Quintanilla, Catherine Bolaños, and Juan Linares. Uh, I need just two of you, two volunteers, who wants to practice the conversation. Okay, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there two Roanne? Who else? Me, teacher. Me. <laughs> Who's it me? Maria Siguenza? Yes. Okay. So Jose Arturo and Maria Siguenza. And then we are going to have two others. Okay. So you can begin, Maria Siguenza. Okay. Eric, you're from Amsterdam. Aren't you? Uh, yeah. Why? I'm going there for conference. And I like some information. Sure. What do you want to know? Do you use the euro in the Netherlands? Yes, the euro is used in most of Europe, you know. And do I need to take euros with me? Um, not really. International credit card are accepted everywhere and they're much safer. Of course. And why should I buy there? Definitely, we like dairy cows and some really excellent cheese and made from their milk. Good, I love cheese. Where is it sold? You can find it at cheese shop all around the city. Don't forget to bring me a piece. Very good, perfect. Congratulations, Maria and Jose Arturo. Very good, very good pronunciation. Uh, who else wants to practice? Somebody else? Me, me. coach. Carla, and who else? Yes. Me. Eric. Uh, Eric, right? Yes, I, it was, I was not checking. Eric, okay. Carla, you can uh, start and then Eric will follow you. Okay. Uh, Eric, you are from Amsterdam, aren't you? 
Yeah, why? I am going there in conference and I like some information. Sure, what do you want to know? Do you their euro in the Netherlands? Yes, the, the euro is used in most of Europe, you know? And, and do you need uh, to take euros with me? Not really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere. And they're so much safer. Of course. And what would you I buy there? Cheese, definitely. We raise dairy coats and some really excellent cheese in May from their milk. Good. I love cheese. Where is where is the salt? You can you can find it at cheese shops all around the city. And don't forget to bring me a piece. Okay, okay. perfect. Very good. Very good pronunciation also. Perfect. Uh, do we have any other volunteer who wants to practice? Or that's it? Are Me, Catherine. Me, teacher. Okay, Catherine. And who else? Me. Juan Linares. Yes. Okay, Catherine and Juan, go ahead, please. Okay. Eric, you're from Amsterdam, are you? Yeah, why? I'm going there for a conference and I like some information. Sure. What do you want to do to now? Do you use the arrow in the Netherlands? Yes. The arrow is used in most of Europe, you know. And do I need to take arrows with me? Not really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere and they're much safer. Of course. And I want to show a buyer. Cheese. Definitely, we raise their dairy coat and some really accept. Um, accept or I know the pronunciation. Cheese is made from their milk. Uh, good. I love cheese. Where is salt? You can find find at the uh, cheese shop or around the city, and don't forget to bring me peace. Okay, very good, very good, perfect. Do we have somebody else, Rosa? Me, hey, teacher. Okay, Jaime and Rosa, would you like to practice with Jaime, or do you have a question? Yes. No, to practice. Okay, Rosa, you can begin. Okay. Eric, from... I can hear you, Lisa. Uh, yeah, white. Ooh, ooh. I am Lisa or, or Eric? Um, Eric. I am, I am Eric, yes. Yeah, why? Um, I am going there for conference and I aren't for conference. I, I like some information. Mm -hmm. Sure. What do you want to know? Do you use the euro in the Northland? Yes. The euro is used in most of Europe. You know? Um, do I need the euro with me? Not really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere and they're muy, much safer. Of course. And what do I buy there? Cheese, the, the finally, we raise dairy cows and some really excellent cheese. 
it's made from their milk. Good, I love cheese or it's soft, soft. You can find it at cheese shops all around the city. And don't forget to bring me a piece. Okay, very good. Perfect, perfect. So, uh, very good pronunciation. And actually, uh, this is a group, a very fluent group. So, very good. Now, we are going to check some of the mistakes that I noticed in uh, some of your conversations, right? And while you were practicing. So, uh, the first one, it says, Lisa, I'm going there for a conference, right? Conference. So this is conference, information. That is another word that you can practice. Information, information. Then uh, sure, right? Sure. sure. Another one is in Spanish, we say euro, right? Euro. And euro is from Europa, right? But in English is euro. Euro, like in Europe. So Europe is... Uh, the the coin of the currency of uh, the currency of Europe is the euro, right? Euro. So you need to practice this, a euro. Yes, it's euro. no euro, euro, no euro, and Europe, right? Europe. Then in Europe is the Netherlands, right? Netherlands. Very good. Another one is much safer, right? Much safer. Another one is uh, this one. How do you say this one after cheese? How do you say this word? At the end, it says cheese. Yeah. 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 Definitivamente. Definitivamente. <laughs> exactly. In Spanish, is definitivamente. But in English, what is the pronunciation in English? Definitely. 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 Definite. Or you can say definitely if you want to. Definitely or definitely. Okay. Uh, be careful when you write it because it has two eyes, right? D E F I and I, right? Definitiva. Definitely. Definitely. So it's kind of difficult that word. Erase dairy cows. It's another one. And let's see. Yeah, that, those are the the most difficult ones. So these are difficult words, definitely a Euro, Europe, right? Uh, because we, we tend to confuse them in Spanish, but it was really good. Perfect. I, I have to congratulate you. And now we are going to have another listening uh, practice. This is just a short practice. I just want you to help me to complete this uh, paragraph. So we are going to talk about another landmark. This, this is the Empire State Building. And these are some statements that uh, are there. Like, for example, it was designed by an American architect. It is, in the New York, it is in New York City. It was officially opened by President of the United States in 1931. It took five years to build. It cost two million to build. There are 102 or 102 floors in the building. There are color lights at the top, and it is the tallest building in the world. According to this, I don't know if, if there's another uh, taller building, but and we are going to talk about the Empire State Building. And I want you to help me to complete this paragraph. You are going to listen to it, and then you will let me know, right, the sentences or the, the verbs that are missing here, right? So we are going to listen to a person describing um, the Empire State. Probably you are not going to find everything here. No van a encontrar todas las palabras aquí, todos los párrafos. Um, pero vamos a tratar de completarlo. We will try to complete it, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, right, okay, perfect. Yes. Just... Yes. Let me check if I can share the screen again. Okay, I'm going to play right now. It's really worth seeing. Page 72, exercise two, perspectives. 
The Empire State Building. Part B. Now listen and check your answers. What information is the most surprising? Okay, folks, here we are in the Empire State Building. The history of the Empire State Building is filled with many interesting facts and figures. It was designed by American architect William Lamb to become the tallest building in the world. Construction began in March 1930, and by October of that same year, 88 floors were already finished. In 1931, after 14 months and $25 million, the building's 102 floors were officially opened by U.S. President Herbert Hoover. In 1964, colored lights were added to the top by the building's owners. The colors change almost every night. While it's no longer the world's tallest building, it is still seen as a symbol of New York City, and people from all over the world visit the building every year. It has even been featured in some of Hollywood's biggest films, including King Kong and Sleepless in Seattle. Okay, perfect. So I want you to help me to complete this paragraph. Did you catch the first sentence, the first verb in passive voice? Or you didn't catch it? Yes. Okay, I will play it again and we are going to go step by step, but I understand it's kind of difficult, right? So uh, we are going to repeat it and we are going to check it. So the first one is the history of the Empire State Building so I want you to tell me what's, what uh, she says after Empire State Building, okay? Let's see. Unit 11, it's really worth seeing. Page 72, exercise two, perspectives. The Empire State Building, part B. Now listen and check your answers. What information is the most surprising? Okay, folks, here we are in the Empire State Building. The history of the Empire State Building is filled with many interesting facts and figures. It was designed by... Okay, what, what did she say there? The history of the Empire State Building... It was... The it was? Let's see. Folks, here we are in the Empire State Building. The history of the Empire State Building is filled with many interesting facts and figures. It's filled. It's filled. Very good. It's filled. Right? Está lleno, ¿verdad? The history of the Empire State Building is filled. Está lleno with many interesting facts and figures perfect let's listen to the other one it figures it was designed by american architect william lamb to become the tallest building in the world what did you say it was que it was it's what the same design design exactly it was design right sorry <clears throat> the sign it was the sign like this something is missing right was right it was designed by american architect william lamb to become the tallest building in the world let's see number three the next one let's see construction began Let, remember that all of it won't be here right all of it won't be here so we are going to miss some words but it says construction began in march 1930 let's see Construction began in March 1930, and by October of that same year, 88 floors were already finished. In 1930... Okay, construction began in March 1930, and by October of the same year, 88 floors? Mm, are already. 
are already what? Finished. Sorry? Are already built? Finished. Let's see. Finished. Let's see. Finished. Let's see. Construction began in March 1930, and by October of that same year, 88 floors were already finished. Where, in right? 1931. Where already finished. Okay, perfect. Very good. Where already finished. In 1931, after 14 months and $25 million, the building's 102 floors Let's see what, what she says there. After 14 months and $25 million, the building's 102 floors were officially opened by U.S. President Herbert Hoover in 19... Okay, one or two floors, 102 floors. What happened Where? there? Where? 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 Where officially? Officially opened. Yeah. Open, very good. Officially open. Where officially opened. Very good. Perfect. And I guess that only one is missing, right? Because I guess this one is a mistake that somebody did, but we are going to complete it, okay? In 64, colored lights were added to the top by the building's owners. The colors change almost every night. While it's no longer the world's tallest Okay, now we are going to listen. While it is no longer the world's tallest building. Building, it is still seen as a symbol of New York City and people from all. Okay, what did you say it here? Is it is. It is. It is still. Uh huh. Here is. It is still what? Let's listen again the last time the colors change almost every night while it's no longer the world's tallest building it is still seen as a symbol of new york city and people from all over the world visit the building every year it has even been featured in some of okay what is the word missing here it is still same same perfect that same. is the past participle of which verb that is the past participle of which which verb? Okay. See, right? See, bad, exactly. See. So all of this is all of this is possible, right? Is feel it was designed, were already finished, were officially opened, and it is still seen as a symbol of New York City. Very good. This one uh, is missing there, but it, I guess it was a mistake, right? of the people of, of the person who wrote the paragraph but it's okay perfect now uh, this is just a pronunciation i guess this is uh, you already checked this in the platform for the people who already check that that is the pronunciation of letter o did you check that in the platform yes yeah, yeah. You, you don't have it you don't have any question about that part right no preguntas Okay, actually, this kind of this part is just pronunciation. It is just uh, saying that the letter O it doesn't sound like an O all the time. For example, in these uh, words, it is like an A, not or top, not top, not top exactly. In these ones, no, don't is it sounds like an O, right? No, don't, don't exactly. In this one. They sound like an U, do, food. And in these ones, what is this sound? All of the all, all of the ah. letters, um, it's like an A, ah, exactly. It's like an A, ah, a closed A, ah, como una A cerrada. Todos estos, estas letras que están entre líneas, all of these letters between these lines are phonemes, right? Son sonidos, no son letras, okay? So, this es como una A ah cerrada. One, love. One. Love. love it's not love it's not love right love i love, love. you no it's not love you right it's love you so uh, we have other other words here for example this is come 
This is like the close a come. It's not come or come, right? Come here. No, it's come. This come. one is done, done, right? Done. 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 Yes, it's done. It's, it's not done. It's done. This one luck. is luck. 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 This Shut. one is own. 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 The next one is shot. 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 Then we have soon. 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 And the last one is who. 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 You see, so the, the letter O, it has different uh, pronunciation. So we are going to practice the last time. Uh, repeat after me, just to check the pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Come. 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 Done. Done. Luck. 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 Own. Own. Shot. 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 Soon. 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 Who? 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 Perfect. Perfect. Very good. So this is uh, the pronunciation of letter O. And uh, I will uh, send you this information also to at the end of the week, right? So this is just an extra. This is another conversation. It is similar to the one that we have studied. So we are going to leave it for the end because we just have 30 minutes and we have a lot of a lot to cover today. So we, I'm going to leave this for probably for tomorrow or probably for as a homework, right? So the passive voice, somebody one, once told me the passive voice can be used only in the past because we have we have uh, seen examples only in the past, right? For example, it was designed, we're already finished, we're officially open, it is still seen, it's filled, right? These ones are in present. So as I already told, told you before, the passive voice can be found in all of the tenses. La post pasiva puede encontrarse en todos los tiempos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, in present simple, right? I make a cake. And the passive is, a cake is made. A cake is made. So that is passive in simple present. We can have passive voice also in present continuous, past simple, past continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous, past perfect, future simple, or future perfect. So all of, uh, probably you have studied some of them, ya estudiaron algunos de esos tiempos, but all of them can be changed into passive, right? Normally we talk in active, right? I am making a cake. In passive is a cake is being made. It's, made by, it's being made by me, right? By me. So that's how we change everything into from active to passive, right? So uh, we always use the verb to be to create the passive voice. And we also use the past participles, right? So for example, in the pa simple past, the ones that we were studying, I made a cake. A cake was made by me, right? So you can practice in, this is just, uh, these are just some examples. So you can check it, right? And we have the past without by. Sometimes we don't have to write by, not all the time, right? Like this one, like by me, by me, by me. Sometimes we don't have to write it because sometimes we don't know who is the doer of the action. For example, uh, the use they use the euro in most of the European Union. The euro is used in most of the European Union. So we don't use buy, right? We don't have to write it because we don't, we know that a lot of people use it. So it's implicit there. This, they speak English in many European countries. English is spoken in many European countries. And they manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. So a lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. So we don't have to write uh, the buy or the doer of the action in this case. Uh, we use this according to the information uh, that we find in the platform um, when factual or scientific writing, right? La, la voz pasiva la encontramos en eh, escritos científicos, ¿verdad? The chemical is placed in a test tube and the data enter into the computer. And also in order to put the new information at the end of the sentence to improve the style. Three books are used regularly in the class. The books were written by Dr. Bell. 
Dr. Bear wrote the books. And so in this case, oh, this is when we omit the buy, right? So uh, these are the, 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 the examples that we can check in the platform. And this is like just um, the simple present passive, right? This is the simple present passive. And this is, these are just some examples, right? The Euro is used in most of the European by the people and cars are manufactured in Europe, right? So those are examples that we have seen already. And this is just the structure, right? So it is just uh, some extra information. This passive void is called passive without an agent. So passive structures without an agent are very common. We use these structures when an agent is not important or is unknown or obvious. All applications must be received before 31 July. The data was analyzed and the results have been just being published. I walk to work, the car is being repaired. And we often use an impersonal expression with it or there when the agent is not important. It was decided that the, the, to charge 10 pounds per ticket, it has been estimated that in Tanzania, one elephant in three is orphan, and there were no comments given about the proposal, the proposal and no decisions made. Estos son solo ejemplos de la voz pasiva que no tienen el agente o el by, ¿verdad? Solo son ejemplos. These are just examples. Now we are going to practice the passive voice. Ya que vamos a terminar con la voz pasiva, vamos a terminar de practicar con ella. It says, rewrite the sentence in active voice. So we are not going to write them in passive. We are going to change them into active. Ya están en pasiva y vamos a cambiar a voz activa. Number one, the bag was packed by his mother. The bag was packed by his mother. What is the answer into active? What is the active sentence? Um, his mother packed mm -hmm. the bag. Okay, his mother packed the bag. Let's see. His mother packed the bag. Very good, Jose Arturo. Very good. Let's see next one. This book was written by an Irishman. This book was written by an Irishman. We, le, le, we have to transform it into active. What is the active voice for this sentence? An Irishman write, write this book. Okay, so let's see this one. Since this is the verb to be, right? The verb to be is in present or in past? Past. 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 And what is it's the main verb? What is the main verb? This book. Right. Exactly. So this is past. So it's telling me that this sentence is in, in past, simple past. So what is the past of right? Road. 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 Okay. So this book was written by an Irishman. An Irishman wrote this book. Okay. Perfect. Next one. Coffee is sold by Mary. Mary. Mary's. So, Look at the verb to be. Look at the verb to be. Uh, is in present or in past? Present. Present. What is the present of soul? Cell. Cell. Exactly. Cell. So Mary. Sells coffee. Sell Mary coffee. sells coffee. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Next one. The computer is used by Patrick. Patrick used the computer. Patrick, Patrick used, used, used the computer. Yes. Patrick used the computer in past? Okay. Patrick yeah, use, uses, use. right? Very good. Patrick uses the computer. Perfect. The, the exercise is completed by the teacher. The teacher is completed the exercise. The teacher is completed the exercise. No, the teacher completes the exercise. The teacher completes the exercise. Let's see. 
Very good. The teacher completes the exercise. Very good. Perfect. So that is from passive into active. Now we are going to write it uh, the opposite, right? Now we are going to write the sentence in passive voice. My friend bought a new car. The new car was bought by my friend. Let's see. A new car was bought by my friend. That is extra, right? Very good, perfect. A new car was bought by my friend. Next one, John cleaned the bathroom. The bathroom was clean by John. By John. The bathroom was cleaned by John, very good, perfect. By John is extra, perfect. Next one, Levi Strauss invented the blue jeans. The blue jean was invented by Levi Strauss. The blue jeans were invented yeah. because blue jeans are plural, blue. right? Plural, yeah. perfect. So blue jeans were invented by Levi Strauss. Very good. The teacher closes the window. The window were closes the teacher. The window was closed. Okay, okay, perfect. Remember that this is it? Present, right? The teacher closes. So is the window, the window is closed. closed. The window is closed by the teacher. The last one. The dog did not bite the cat. The El perro no mordió al gato. Uh -huh. cat the cat uh -huh. the cat didn't there what? was the cat was beaten the, the, the was cat an, was beaten the cat wasn't beaten by the dog let's see the cat was not beaten by the dog very good perfect perfect so this is a negative one this is a negative one so it was real cool Perfect. Let's see how much, what time is it? 9.42. Okay. Uh, let me introduce a new topic very quickly, please. And then we are going to continue with the class. Okay. This is the last, um, the last thing that we're going to study with the passive voice. Are these sentences says written in active or passive voice? Lots of houses were destroyed. Is this active or passive? Active. 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 Is active or passive? Passive. 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 <laughs> exactly. Where destroy right? Where is the verb to be and destroy right? That's how you notice that ah, this is a passive sentence. Okay. So a letter was written. Active or passive? Active. Active boys. Active or passive? Passive boys. Passive. You see? The verb to be was and written, right? Was and written. Verb to be in the past participle. Pay attention. Next one. They often read emails. Active or passive? Active. Active. Exactly. Active. Bingo is played in Britain. Active. Active. Active, boys. Active, boys. active boys. Active or passive? Passive boys. Passive boys. Passive, boys. passive. passive right? Play. Because it's the verb to be play. and play. play. Bingo is played. El bingo es jugado. Jugado de jugar, ¿verdad? Jugar. Play. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. Para aclarar. Yeah, to clarify. <laughs> the last one. Active. He, he lost his keys Active yesterday. Boys. Active, Active boys. boys. Perfect. He lost his keys yesterday. Perfect. Active boys. You see, it's really easy to identify passive boys against the active boys. Now, I'm going, we are going to talk about uh, past continuous versus simple past because tomorrow we are going to finish with this topic. So I just wanted to introduce this uh, topic. 
this information is it, it can be found it can be found in uh the platform right so how do we combine or why do we combine these two uh tenses por qué combinamos estos o cuándo podemos combinar estos dos tiempos el pasado continuo y el pasado simple o el pasado verdad how can we combine it so it says we use the simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. So this is a timeline, earlier action, later action, right? I was reading a book when you came. So we need to pay attention in the timeline. So um, for example, when we finish already an action, we can say they went to the movies, he came home, she drove my car. So that action is finished, right? But when we combine the simple past with the past continuous, we use it to um, for an action that is still in progress in the past, or we use the simple past for a completed action. So um, the past continuous, we use it just for an action that is still in progress in the past. And we have here examples. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job, when somebody offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. So we combine, this is the structure, right? For the simple past. Subject plus verb in past plus complement. This is the negative. Subject plus didn't plus verb, the base form plus complement. And this is the question, right? Did subject place base form and complement. So we, if we follow this structure, we are going to be able to write a lot of sentences. For example, my mother went to the supermarket. My mother didn't go to the supermarket. And did your mother go to the supermarket? This is following the same structure. And the past continues. When do we use the past continues? We will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. For example, I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when she had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. So aquí eh, se interrumpió una acción que estaba ocurriendo. Ahí lo vamos a combinar los dos. When we are trying to, when we were doing something and then something suddenly happened, cuando alguien, algo de repente ocurrió. Okay, so that's how we combine the two of them. The past continues, it says this tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. And these are examples, right? We are going to talk about this tomorrow, more examples and also the, the structure for the past continues, right? These are just um, examples for general information right for example while we can use while and we can use when when we are going to use the past continuous and the simple past what is the meaning of while que significa while mientras mientras mientras, mientras. yo estaba haciendo eso pasó esto verdad y when what is the meaning of when cuando 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 yo estaba haciendo eso pasó esto entonces that is the meaning past continuous that is, this is the structure for the past continuous, right? Subject plus was, were, plus verb in ing. Subject plus was, were, negative verb in ing. And was, were, subject plus verb in ing. So this is the structure. If we follow this structure, we will be able to create different sentences. And this is the timeline that I was talking, right? I was doing something and then suddenly something happened and I didn't finish the action. We also can use this kind of um, expressions, right? Time expression, last month, two years ago, I met a friend while, so that is just the general information. Uh, did we have a, a homework? Teníamos tarea? Yes, right. Yes. yes. What yes. was the homework about? This one, right? Right about the first time you did the following things using a computer, ride a bike, 
first English class, first time driving a car, first time you cook for your family or traveling outside the country. So we are going to use the last 10 minutes. I just want to know, or I just want to check how can you express activities or experiences in the past. Quiero ver cómo uh, ustedes pueden describir este tipo de situaciones. So let's see. Um, okay. Jaime, did you do the homework? Me teacher? Yes, Jaime Hernandez. Uh, only a write uh, a little word. <laughs> okay, what did you write about? For example, uh, when I write uh, a little words in uh, where, when I when I use uh, my first time and then um, on bicycle. Okay, uh, what happened? How was your experience yes, yes, there? Yes. Okay. Uh, when when I when I was around the uh, seven or or eight uh, years old mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i remember i my my brother uh, uh, he uh, told, told me or me enseñó. he taught me uh huh he, he told me told me i uh, used the bicycle but the bicycle it uh, it was a uh, a uh, uh, wheels on the road uh -huh. uh, a, li a, a little wheels on the road uh, uh, I um, no uh, around four four wheels uh, I I I am uh, it was difficult for me because uh, I. I I haven't I I <laughs> I haven't ride a bike. <laughs> okay, but you were eight years old, right? Eight years old. Yes, sir. Did, so, you, so, so. did, did you did you fall when you were riding the bike? I actually I I fight very good, very well. <laughs> okay, very good. Congratulations. <laughs> and uh, uh, and I uh, Dry a car. It was the same, really fast. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's easy. It's easy for me. Uh, <laughs> dry, dry a car. Drive a car. Okay, perfect. Right, so. Very good, Jaime. Good, very good experience. Jaime, now I oh. want you to choose another person, another of your classmates. Okay, okay, teacher. Um, Jose eh, Bernal. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't homework. No, no, I, I am joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Um, unforgettable trip. When I was in Costa Rica in December 23rd, I enjoyed a different gastronomy and other culture. So I could miss the fireworks and the bread with chicken. But I know a beautiful beach on the Caribbean coast. When, um, where the people is friendly and polite, where the celebration is all day long and the people are dancing on the sand. Light, music, food and drinks, it's on the menu. Okay, very good. So that was your first time that you travel abroad. Um, yes. Okay, perfect. And why did you travel to Costa Rica? Um, why did you decide to go there? Like it was an interesting uh, country or? I was visited um, some friends. Ah, you were you had friends there and you were visiting them. Yep. Okay, perfect. Very good experience. It sounds fun, right? Very good, perfect. And let's see, Jose, choose another person from your classmates. 
um, Carla Merino. Okay, Carla Marino, are, are you there? Yes, yes, teacher. Did you do the homework, Carla? Yes, teacher. Okay, what experience did you wrote about? Um, did you write, sorry. In my first English class. Okay. Okay, in my first English class, I remember I went to an academy uh, for five months. I remember in my first day, I remember I was nervous. Uh, I remember uh, my class, my classmates. She, they have a good pronunciation, and they, they um, have a good knowledge about English. And remember, at that moment, only my knowledge was uh, uh, of the colors and the abecedary, and so it's a little knowledge I have. But I remember I feel nervous. I feel so bad because I remember the teacher, they only speak in English. And sometimes I couldn't understand when he asked me some questions. Okay, so it was a kind of yeah, so a just new that. experience. It was a new experience, but it was kind of difficult experience for you. Yes, and it when it was, was a difficult experience. When was this this uh, class? Like how long ago? Um, only I was starting at the academy for five months. Five months. Yes. And that, that happened In last English year. for call centers. English for call centers, right? Very good. And that was like five years ago, ten, uh, like one year ago. No, I am. Um, and remember two years ago two years ago so you have you have improved a lot of a lot your english right in these two years yes i remember and my teacher sometimes he is loving about my pronunciation but always i try little by little to learn more because i never get up exactly that that's the best uh, that's the best way to to try and try and try again very good perfect yes carla choose one the last one the last of the last one of your classmates mm. uh, jaime no 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 noe noe are you there noe yes teacher okay what experience really... did you talk about Okay, in my case, my students allow to start driving a car. Okay, how was your experience driving a car? Okay, and six years ago, I had the opportunity to buy a car. Um, I did it, but I couldn't drive. I took classes and uh, academy to learn how to drive a car. One night, I had to go up and decided to take car. And the first time I drove, I was four, 44 years old. I remember um, that it moved from side to side. I have no more than a week to start the course. Um, it was fancy me. And then I went to Apple for the listen. I was necessary to have it. Only teacher. Okay, perfect. So you keep uh, learning, you keep having classes, drive lessons, driving lessons. Yes, in accident. But you didn't, you have never had an accident, a car accident. And Almost, uh, almost because uh -huh. almost because uh, when uh, yeah night ah it was at night yes 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 and yeah it's dangerous kind of dangerous, dangerous. yes fear okay. is time I driving my car okay okay very good perfect Noe thank you for your participation okay, and. Thank uh, you. Alguien más hizo la tarea? Somebody else did the homework? Yes. Me, teacher. Yes. Who said me? Jose Arturo? 
Eric. No. Eric. Okay, Eric, we are going to wait for tomorrow because now it's time to stop the class. Thank you for coming, but tomorrow we are going to continue with these stories. I just wanted to introduce the new topic because tomorrow we are going to do something with the past tense and the past uh, continuous, okay? So we are going to do something with your stories, okay? So if you did the homework, we are going to use that information to create new information, to create a new a new activity, okay? So tomorrow, Eric will start the class saying or talking about uh, the first time that he was like, I don't know, uh, driving or what, what, what are you going to talk about tomorrow, Eric? My first time to driving a car. My first time driving a car also, okay, perfect. I actually, that's uh, uh, my first time was kind of terrifying actually. But I think I, I did it okay, I think, right? But I, I was really nervous my first time driving a car. Me too. But um, we are going to talk about that tomorrow. Have a nice night. And thank you for being here and your hard job, okay? Hard work, sorry. Okay, okay. have a good night. Have a good, good night. night. Good night, bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.